So I want to talk to you today about Broward County's new first time DUI offenders program and why this is such a big deal. For over 40 years, Michael Satz was the state attorney for Broward County. And although people had requested for criminal defense or criminal justice reform in Broward County, including a program such as this, it went unchanged. Harold Pryor is the new uh, state attorney in Broward County and he's implementing some change and this is a big part, a big first step here. Um, when we're talking about the Broward County DUI first time offenders program, um, in essence what it does is allow somebody to who is charged with DUI and it's the first time um, to get their charge down to a reckless driving and and have their case um, a withhold adjudication, meaning that's no conviction, that may allow the case to be sealed later on down the line. So since this is a relatively new program, um, it's much like the uh, Palm Beach County Diversion Program, but there are some changes, uh, sort of some minor differences, um, and it's important to note that. Um, so really what I want to do is discuss what would disqualify you from this type of program. Now again, this has to be a first uh, DUI offense, but there's some other characteristics, there's other some things, uh, items in here that would disqualify you from being in this program. And then I'll talk to you about what the program is. So first, if, you're, if you give a breath sample over a .20, um, that, is, that would disqualify you from the program. If you're DUI investigation came as a part of a crash, that would disqualify you. If you had children or animals in the vehicle, that would disqualify you. Um, if you have been previously adjudicated guilty for a reckless driving offense or leaving the scene of, uh, of an accident, that would disqualify you. If you've participated in any formal diversion program uh, before, and that means like um, if you did a PTI, if you had a felony case and you did a PTI, that would disqualify you. Um, if you received an adjudication of, uh, or a withhold of adjudication on more than two misdemeanors within the three years of the offense, that would disqualify you. Uh, if you were adjudicated guilty or receiving a withhold for more than two offenses of a third degree felony, um, within three years, that would disqualify you. And that, I have to read off this because there's so many little nuances here that is important uh, so that you get the correct information. Um, if you received an adjudication or withholding of adjudication on a second degree felony or higher, if you didn't have a valid driver's license at the time of the offense, that would disqualify you. If you um, if you're currently charged with another crime and you have a pending case, and if you previously participated in PTI drug court or another diversion program. So those are the things that would disqualify you from being in a part of this DUI diversion program. Now, just like Palm Beach County, there's two tiers, a tier one and a tier two. Now, um, Tier one explains what conditions that you would have to do. And tier one is for people who have a breath level of 0 0.150 or below. You have to uh, su successfully complete DUI school and any recommended treatment, 50 community service hours, uh, MAD victim impact panel, 10 day vehicle immobilization, TAD or SCRAM device worn by the defendant, and what that is, is that's an uh, alcohol monitoring uh, bracelet that you have to work, like an ankle bracelet that you would have to, to wear at all times. Uh, no possession or consumption of illegal drugs or non-prescribed drugs. Random testing at your own expense, $100 cost of supervision, and a $150 application fee. Now, that is a minimum of six months in the program, and you have to complete everything within 12 months. Now, a tier two is for those with 0.150 to 0.20 or a refusal. And you have to successfully complete DUI school, 75 community service hours, uh, the MAD impact panel, 10-day immobilization, SCRAM device that you have to wear, 
and no possession or consumption of illegal drugs, uh, $100 cost of supervision, and $150 uh, application fee. So he, here's the, uh, you have to enter this program and do the application 45 days within the arraignment, from the arraignment, and pr pr prior to any request for discovery. Now, what is discovery? Discovery is the uh, evidence the state is going to use against you. So if you get arrested for uh, a DUI in Broward County and you think you're eligible, it's important that you consult with an experienced DUI attorney in Broward to see, one, if you're, you're qualified, and two, um, that they know what they're doing in getting you into this program because it, if you plead not guilty, set your case off, demand discovery, and you're 60 days in and say, oh, you know, I think I could be eligible for this diversion program, you've waived that. You just passed 45 days, you've asked for discovery, you're not going to be able to be eligible for this program. So it's important that you have someone who is experienced and knows the procedure here to get you into this uh, particular program. Now, what are the advantages of doing this program? Well, like I said before, it takes a DUI that has a mandatory conviction as a part of the sentence and drops it to a reckless driving. That saves you twofold. It saves you on high risk insurance and it saves you for the fact that a DUI cannot be, a con DUI conviction cannot be sealed or expunged. But if you get a withhold adjudication, on a reckless driving, it can be sealed if you're otherwise eligible. Okay, so it saves you money long term so that you don't have to get the FR44 or SR22 insurance, and, and it saves you because you can uh, seal your case. Uh, another thing that it does is it technically can limit the amount of penalty that you have, um, you know, as, as if you get convicted and if you were to violate probation. Um, you know, there's so many other advantages of, of doing it. But now I want to talk about why you might not want to actually do the program. So there's something to consider. If you were um, pulled over illegally, if the officers didn't follow the proper procedure, rather than get you into the program, there may be valid defenses that could get this case dismissed. If you opt to do the program, you are taking a plea. You are going on probation. It is, it is something that is something to consider before you even um, make that decision that you want to do this type of program. And then, again, this is all the more reason why you want to have a, an experienced DUI attorney in Broward County review your case to see if there's any defenses that may save you in the long run. So if you want to read more about it, check out my website. I've got all the details for this program on my website. I also have a, a, a webinar that you can watch. Um, it's related to the Palm Beach County DUI diversion, but it's, it, since these programs are very similar, it's certainly something that you can download and, and watch and figure out if this is something that you want to do. If you have any other DUI questions that you want to know about, then contact us and set an appointment download one of our guides or download our book.